Hey everyone, I'm in the Burlington, Vermont airport right now. I'm obviously not feeling great. Last night, last night was probably the worst possible case scenario. We thought Bernie Sanders' worst case would come out with a delegate lead. California's still counting, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. The movement to coalesce behind Biden was legit. And I'm feeling pretty hopeless right now, but I've been reassured by people close to me and I've, I'm trying to digest it a little bit more and I wanna give you guys some reason for hope. One, Elizabeth Warren is apparently meeting with her advisors and her campaign sent out a pretty dire email saying that, you know, basically it's a long shot and she's gonna be reassessing. So it ain't over. She could throw her support behind Bernie, which would be huge. Remember when AOC threw her support behind Ber Bernie Sanders after he had his heart attack? That would be really big. And Elizabeth Warren could do the same. It wouldn't be the same effect, but it would certainly help in a different way because she's a presidential candidate in the race. Now, I want to give you guys some more reasons for hope. One, Biden is senile. <laughs> Biden called Super Tuesday Super Thursday. Biden lied about being in South Africa, or protesting, getting arrested in South Africa. Number two, Bernie's base is gonna be consolidated and angry and ready to fight. Number three, I think Bernie gets it now. They are running negative ads on Joe Biden. There are ads talking about how Obama said, don't do this. And I just saw when's the next debate. I'm gonna to get to that. So, in the live chat. Someone asked, the next debate's on the 15th, Sunday, March 15th. I'm going to be on vacation because I really need it, guys. So next Tuesday, we have Idaho, Michigan, Mississippi, Missouri, North Dakota, Washington. Bernie needs to make more gains in the rural voters that he had back in 2016. He's actually lost, lost that. So if his base can consolidate, there's reason for hope. Then we have the Democratic debate the Sunday after that. Then March 17th, we got Arizona, Florida, Illinois, Ohio. Bernie's gonna lose Florida, and I said this on the main show, he should not have doubled down on the Castro comments. He's gonna lose it, okay? But people can still canvas and make sure that loss is not completely devastating and Bernie can have some delegates there. But Illinois is really big, and that's on March 17th. That's coming right after that. Then we have Alaska, Hawaii, Louisiana, Wyoming, Wisconsin, New York, Pennsylvania on April 28th. That is huge, 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 huge. Now, we're not going to go into the convention with a majority. I want everyone to stomach that right now. Bernie Sanders is not going to go into the convention with a majority. And this primary is so schizophrenic. Biden... He, there was a reason he didn't get all the support beforehand. And it's because of all the reasons I just stated. He doesn't stand for anything. He stands on nostalgia. It's hot air. He was buoyed by the coalescing behind him of Buttigieg and Klobuchar. And it looks like they went right there. But if Bernie is able to strike back effectively, if Elizabeth Warren is able to drive um, and people are saying we lost. Guys, come on. Look, I'm not feeling great right now either, but there's still a lot of primary left. There's still a lot of primary left. And Pennsylvania and New York is going to be huge. So this is going to go right down to the wire. And we just have to have more votes going in to the convention. That's the number one thing. That's the number one thing. I we'll be honest that Biden is now the front runner. But again, this primary has been schizophrenic, has been crazy. Things will change on a dime and Bernie people are gonna be angry. Bernie Sanders has to change his messaging. He has to go back to appealing to rural voters. He has to talk about electability. He has to talk about how he has the best chance to defeat Trump. He has to talk about how Joe Biden is unable to defeat Trump. He should probably bring up 2016. I know that Bernie doesn't like to bring it up, but maybe he should bring up the fact that the centrists lost to Donald Trump, that we need a bold vision. He doesn't name Hillary by name, but you know what? She's smearing him all over 
TV and going after him, so perhaps he might want to do so. Whew. April 28th, we got Connecticut, Delaware, Maryland. Those are going to most likely go to Biden. New York, Pennsylvania, those are the big fish. I get that people aren't feeling hopeful. I needed to make a flight, and I needed to do work. Otherwise, I would have had a hard time getting up today. But there is still hope. If the Bernie Sanders coalition actually puts itself together, picks itself up, and look at all of these contests that we have. Bernie's going to crush him, hopefully, on the debate Sunday the 15th. And then, you know, we got to hit the reset button. All hands on deck. All hands on deck. Wow. Thank you so much for that super chat. You guys, everyone, I, I'm sorry. I'm not really used to this, so it's hard for me to call people out by name. But thank you, S-E-K. Wow. And other, everyone else who donated. That's really, really nice. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> that's the reason for hope. The left is going to coalesce. They are going to strike back. The empire just strike. I saw Kyle Kalinske, you know, great ally, great, great host of um, Secular Talk, talking about how this is the empire strikes back. It certainly is. But, you know, we got some tricks up our sleeve, too. We got some tricks up our sleeve, too. All right, guys.